What's going on? What's going on? Not much. How you feeling? Thanks for coming out for a while to an exclusive. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. It's a, it's a wild time you're living in. A lot of energies in the air, but I'm staying positive. Right, right, for sure. For those that's just tuning in, we in air with Shevin Roberts, and we're going to have a dope, dope interview, and we're going to learn a lot about you. You're working very hard, and I want to congratulate you on all your success. So Thank you. For those who don't know, we're going to start from the beginning. So, you know, let us know where you're from. I actually, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I've gone, I've lived in LA, I've lived in um, Long Beach, West LA, Hollywood, Studio City, mm -hmm. um, Anaheim, and um, Huntington Beach, California. So I lived all over California. I go back and forth, and originally from Houston, Texas, so. Okay, dope, dope. Shout out to Texas. Where Shout are you from? Texas. I'm from Philly, Philadelphia. Oh, wow, cool. And I'm where, from and where are you based now? Uh, I'm still in Philly now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm still in Philly. I travel a lot. I'm all cool. over, you know, so cool. I'm always coming back home to Philly, especially during the holiday season. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so yeah. So, cool. um, what made you step into the music industry? What made you want to, you know, sing? Or did you just have a gift you already knew and you just ran with it? How'd that, how'd that come about? Um, well, what happened was at like five and six years old, I was actually, um, my mom put me with an acting agent and I started booking national commercials. So from a young age, I kind of had it instilled in me uh, and I kind of got that acting bug. But then she pulled me out and then I was very active in dance all through my teenage years and actually became a six time national solo champion dancer. So like, which basically just means I won a lot of competitions as a solo dancer and I would perform in front of like 20,000 people and right. arenas and I had a blast doing that. I was really obsessed with dance and I kind of already had a relationship with music through the dance because I would basically, there were other dancers that were just like regular dancers, but I mm. feel like I had a special relationship with the music because I would tell my mom, I would like hear a Whitney Houston song or Celine Dion right. song and be like, oh, I feel this in my blood. I feel this in my skin. And I like would actually design my own costumes. I would like dream them up during my classes. And um, like, I was never paying attention to school. I was always dreaming of my <laughs> success. So I was very much like an artist dancer. I wasn't just like your typical dancer. Like I created, right. I choreographed it. I, I, on top of my own chore choreography, I would get like five other choreographers and take bits and pieces. So I was really kind of like you would do music with producers. I was very, artistic about it and then designing my own costumes and I would win you know and I would get standing ovations so that's when I first fell in love with music but I don't think I realized that I was in music I thought I was in love with dance and I okay. was and then I got burnt out on it and I was just like I've won all these competitions I'm over this I'm done like I want to go back to acting so I moved back to LA and then started in days of our lives and then one of my friends at the time was kind of like a big one hit wonder and she was having some success in the music industry and that really kind of inspired me because, well, it wasn't like I thought, oh, I, I want to do music, I want to be a singer because of that. It was just like already happening. And then I heard a commercial for a music school in Hollywood and it piqued my interest. I was just like, you know, I don't know. I love performing. Like, I don't know. I just want to do this. And I thought I was crazy because I was like, you know, I've never had a voice lesson. So I showed up, I actually sang, and I actually haven't told this story to anyone else like in detail, oh, but I actually the Lucy. song that I auditioned with, which I don't know if people remember from like 2000, but the song that I auditioned with was called I Want to Know by Joe. It's just an R&B song. And right. I just sang the bridge of the song. Like that Let me hear it. That. Let me hear it. Can we hear it? Oh, no. <laughs> Can we hear it? <laughs> it's like, I want to know. <laughs> Who tell me, tell me. Tell me what I gotta do to please you. Right. Baby, anything you say, I'll do. You know, I'll that do. that kind of thing. You know, yeah. just, I got a little vocals kind of too. Old type of song, <laughs> like, and, and honestly, I had never had a vocal lesson in my whole life. And not like I've been practicing that song anyways, by the way. But, and so no, anyways, no, I made lit. it into the it. music school. I made it in. And then I started meeting producer after producer. And, and every few years, I cut a record. I do some shows. But I was never really satisfied with the product, mm -hmm. which is why like, I would release a music video on a local TV station and then just rip it off like YouTube, take it away. And then I do another album and I win awards for that album. And then I put it on YouTube for like, or iTunes for like a week or two and then I rip it off and be like, I'm not satisfied yet. 
But yeah. the good news is that now I, I'm working with some great producers and I'm really satisfied with the product. So I can't mm. wait to release this music and I'm actually going to release it at, on all platforms. So um, I'm completely rebranding it, but I am satisfied with the product and mm. I will be releasing it soon. I just don't know exactly when because we have to get through some of these things that we're going through as a society. <laughs> right, right. It's for sure, for sure. And there's a lot of craziness going on. What do you, can you give us a little um, insight on the producers you're working with? Because you got some major producers on that project that you're yeah, working exactly. with. Yeah, that, exactly. And that's to me what it's really all about with is who you work with, you know what I mean? So um, the producers I have right now on this project, originally I, I wrote this song with Alex Cantrell, but um, we were the songwriters on that but we did not use the original so now okay. i have the original that i wrote with him we we're using the 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 voice and the lyrics but the actual original track we're not necessarily using that in, in um the promos so right now i have five different remixes and um the main remix that i'm promoting was done by robert ebock who is you know he's had like three number one hits uh billboard he's won several grammys um and he is very well known in the edm dance community and so um, that is the remix that I actually made the music video to, and that's the main one we're promoting. And then I have like four others by some famous DJs. Um, I guess there was Ten Fingers, there was DJ Chris. I, there's so many I can't remember all their names, but right, right. Um, but yeah. So so the main one I'm working with is Robert Ebock, and I actually recorded a full uh, EP with him back in June to follow up on these remixes. So I'll have some other five songs to release so i'm okay, excited okay okay what's the name what's the names can you give us some names did you pick one out yet oh uh, names of the actual songs oh for for the whole project for the whole project you know i haven't named the whole project yet uh they're still mixing and mastering it so i'm not really sure what the overall theme is but we kind of sure. talked about your he was like you know he's like i don't know what the overall theme is but it, there's definitely like something going on um with the with the music because it you know it's like when you go to create an album it's got like one of the vibes that's like the same throughout but then it's like totally different on each song so there's something right. there but um one of the songs i remember it was like i was kind of like talking about um i i don't want any more drama so like yeah, okay. i really like the attitude that was coming through so i'm sure there'll be definitely something like very uh sassy for the album name <laughs> I, I like it i like it that's a good vibe that's a good vibe <laughs> so so give us some of your influences give us like maybe your top three um artists that you looked up to or maybe not even artists because you came up doing dance or maybe some dancers that inspired you um give us a top three top three um uh, as an artist, I really like Gwen Stefani, and I actually have a cover song I did of hers when she was in No Doubt. It was called I'm Just a Girl. I did a cover of her in 2016. I threw it up on YouTube. It actually got, like, I think almost 200,000 views on um, my Facebook video, so I didn't really have to promote it on YouTube. But it's up there, and that was a fun one. I love Gwen. I like her for her personality. I really liked her in No Doubt. I wasn't really fully in love with her solo record, but I did like it. And right. I say that, but I'm never in love with, like, any record, hardly ever. So all that means is that, like, I wanted to be more in love with it, but I really liked it. <laughs> and right. I really liked her in No Doubt, too. And I love her personality. She's adorable. Um, I also like Pink. Pink is really cool because she's got the rasp tone, which I relate to. Um, some days I'm raspier than others. Right. And she, she basically is, like, raw and real and, like, really just... I feel like she's a little bit honest or really yeah. honest. So I really appreciate that. And then I like, um, I like Avril Lavigne and I like Nicki Minaj. So I guess that's like four. Yeah. That's, that, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a good top four though. That's a good top four. Who are your favorite top four? Ooh, my favorite. Okay, that's a good, that's a good question. So my number one is Nas. <laughs> Nas, definitely. Okay. Uh, number two, I would say it would it would have to be Tupac. Um, number three, gotta go Michael Jackson because oh, everybody loves Michael I Jackson. Michael Jackson is everybody loves Michael. Yeah, yeah. Saying? And then my number four, my number four is tough because I will, I will have to say, um. 
So my first song, the song that made me fall in love with music was um, Wu-Tang, the song Cream. So that was the first song that I remember as a kid that I knew and like my, my pops would walk in the house and sing the song and I knew the words, you know what I'm saying? So that was the one. So. That's really cool. Yeah, that's my topic. I always like to, I always like to ask people that, that question because it's just, I don't know, it's interesting for me to see who, who is inspired by, you know, what artists inspire them. But Michael Jackson, I actually, um, the song that I ended up opening up Justin Bieber concert with was actually it had a sample of Michael Jackson in it. And it was basically kind of like it was in a totally original song, but we just used a sample loop. Right. And there's a reason why I never released that because I, you know, not sure if I fully had the rights to do it, but I, I took right. to it. Ah, he'd be cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk, let's talk about that. Was, was um, performing with Justin Bieber one of your bigger shows? Or let's talk about some of those performances there. Yeah, that was, I guess that would be my biggest show, and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, Bieber was backstage. I kind of did the what's up head nod, and he was like, what's up? And then that was, like, the end of it. So everybody always wants, like, this big juicy story, but there's not one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically, yeah, I mean, it was a great show. The crowd was a whole lot of fun. And I've done other shows since then where I've headlined and had my own shows. But obviously, you know, um you're always wanting to get like that big crowd with the major energy so it just really depends on where i'm performing so hopefully right. we'll have some opportunities in 2021 right hopefully on. hopefully hopefully they say there's yeah. plans for some but hopefully that that it happen um, yeah you know pray for the best that's all we can do right stay Amen. positive yep mm -hmm. and then you know keep working while you can you know you you got music videos that you're working on that you want to drop for the fans yeah um, so you can talk, tell them about that. You plan, you got any dates or give us a little insight? Well, um, we, do, we did record or film the music video back in June. And um, I haven't released it yet. First of all, the billboard, the dance billboard charts have not opened yet. So we plan to launch these five remixes onto the billboard charts. And that's the, you know, the main focus. So, of course, the video goes along with that. So there's right. the reason for that. Plus, we're in the middle of, of COVID and the election. So... I'm guessing that I'll probably be doing it. I don't know, because we have the holidays coming up. Yeah. I'm going to say it could be within the next couple of months, but more than likely, it'll probably be around January, which is awesome, yeah. because my birthday's in January, January 22nd, so it's always fun when you get a fresh, oh. new, brand new year to bet, start. Okay, okay, cool. But, so no, I can't really, yeah. So right now, I'm just building awareness, letting everybody know, hey, follow me. I'm going to have some really good content coming out. I can't wait right. to share it with you guys. I'm just going to do it when I feel led, when the time is, is right. And I'm not going to hold back, but we, yeah, we kind of got to get through, you know, <laughs> as, right. a, as, a, as a society, we have to get through this time. And it's kind of just yeah. like crazy right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We just got to stick together, keep pushing, and we'll get Amen. through it. You know, we always do. Word. Yeah, I really I like know. that. I really <laughs> said that. It's good to yeah. stick together and don't cancel people. Just, just love people and allow people to be who they are. Right, that's facts. That's facts. Yeah. We on the same vibe. I like that. I love so that. we'll pray for tours. We're praying for the tours. Hopefully that yeah. um that gets rolling. Um I want you to, you know, leave a message with, you know, some of the fans and some of the new fans you're gonna gain after, you know, doing this interview and hopefully, you know, all the success that you continue to get will continue throughout the years and months that you're working. So uh leave the people with a message, something that you wanna, you know, really tell them that's that's tuned in. Um, I think it's important nowadays to just really stick to what's important with your family and your friends and do things that make you happy. Um, don't let uh, whatever you're hearing constantly get to you and, and and make you feel depressed, you know? So listen to music that makes you happy. That's one of the reasons I love pop music because it makes me happy. I right. also love a lot, of, a lot of different genres of music, but do whatever it takes to make yourself happy and tune mm -hmm. out whatever you need to tune out to, to keep your peace and um yeah i mean just go for the stars live out your dreams do whatever you need to do um again i mean really there's so many fun things to watch online and uh, other than the news there's podcasts right. there's pages like this i mean i i'm a tough person i could like never get bored i don't get bored <laughs> and depressed and i'm just like constantly entertaining myself right. it's, it's a it's always fun to be creative during these times you know because it kind of like allows you to kind of get in that bubble and find your creativity. So that would be my message is like, don't give up on yourself, life. Don't give up on God and just uh, try to do what it takes to make yourself happy and, and relax and, and right. trust the process. So. Right, indeed, yeah. indeed, I like that. 
Well, I appreciate you. We definitely gonna be tuned into the music. Anything you guys need on that side, promotion wise, whatever we can do, we here Thank for you. you. We support you guys, and uh, you know, keep working hard. I'm tuned in. I'm a fan. Thank you. I appreciate you, um, and we'll definitely be in touch. And anything, uh, you know, that your mu anytime your music drops, just send us an email, whatever it is, and we'll make sure it gets up on all our sites too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, everyone who tuned in. If you would like to, you can stay in touch with me on Instagram. I'm pretty active over there. And um, it's just a blessing. So thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye. But well, there you go. Bye. Chef and Roberts, another Wild Tuna exclusive. I appreciate her, man. Her music's dope. Sounds great. The production's great. She got a super dope team over there. So make sure y'all check her out. Um, we definitely going to be posting about it later this week. The, the website, make sure y'all check out resultsofnohype.com. Make sure y'all tune in to everything we're doing here because we're doing it for the culture and we're bringing out great talent. So appreciate y'all. It's Wild Tuna. I'm out.